Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am super excited. Um, we are talking about hammered dulcimers again. <laughs> um, I absolutely adore these instruments. I think they're just some of the most fun and unique folk instruments out there. Uh, so today I kind of want to do a comparison for you um, in case you are thinking of buying your first hammered dulcimer. Um, I'm going to do a comparison of two kind of sizes um, that people are most commonly looking at for their first hammered dulcimer. Um, and I'm going to give you some pros and some cons for each of them, and hopefully that will help you decide. <laughs> okay, so this first model that we're starting with, um, this is a 1211, um, which basically means that there's 12 strings on one side and 11 strings on the other side. <laughs> Um, now, this isn't a super common model that you see in the dulcimer world. Um, this is a Breezy Ridge dulcimer. I um, mean, it's actually made with really interesting construction. Um, instead of sound holes on the front, it just doesn't have a back. Um, it's super interesting. I have a review of it that I'll put a link to in the description that if you want to check it out, you should because it's a cool dulcimer. <laughs> um, but it is pretty representative of the size. Um, and this one, this is a 1615 dulcimer. Um, and this is a super common starter dulcimer. This is the Phoebe by Songbird Dulcimers. Um, and it's a super awesome instrument. <laughs> it was my first hammered dulcimer and I really still love it. Um, now the most common next size up from the 1211 is actually a 1514. So this one has one more note <laughs> um, than you would normally expect from a like neck size up hammer dulcimer, but it's very close. <laughs> so the biggest difference that you're going to find between these two instruments or these two sizes of instruments is the range. When you're looking at a 1211 hammer dulcimer, that gives you a range of two and a half octaves. This particular one and most, um, it goes from the G below middle C um, all the way up to a D. So it's about two and a half octaves. Um, it's a decent range. Uh, if you're used to playing the piano, you're probably going to feel pretty limited by that. <laughs> um, if you're used to playing, say, the ocarina, where it's uh, lucky if you have more than an octave, then uh, it's going to feel like you have a ton of freedom. Um, so that really just depends on your background and the kind of music that you're wanting to play. Um, this bigger size, um, the 1615 or more usually the 1514, this has a range of three entire octaves. Um, so it goes from a C below middle C, actually this one goes from a D below middle C since it's uh, the D key is more common on here. Um, and this one goes all the way up to an E. Um, so it's got three octaves plus one note on top, which is kind of nice. So the real difference between these two dulcimers is um, on this size, you've got your two and a half octaves, your lowest note is G. And on this one, you get a few more notes at the bottom. Um, you get to go all the way down to D. So <laughs> that's three extra notes, um, which three extra bass notes might not seem like a lot. Um, I mean, if you're a harp player, you can compare a 22 string harp versus a 26 string harp. Um, like it doesn't seem like it would make a lot of difference, but those extra bass notes are really, really useful sometimes. <laughs> Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you um, was the size and the weight, because I know that that can be a big consideration for some people. Um, this particular one, since it doesn't have a back, it's made to be a little lighter, um, but it is 13 pounds. So, I mean, it's got a sizable weight to it. It's made out of all wood. Um, and this one is a little bit lighter, this particular one, because it has um, a plywood soundboard. Um, which I think makes it hold the tuning better and I kind of prefer it, but some people really like the sound of all wood um, and that probably adds a pound or two. Um, but this particular one is 17 pounds, so it is about four pounds heavier than the smaller version. Um, there's also the size issue. Um, this one is about 42 inches long on this bottom side that's super long. <laughs> um, and this one is about 39 and a half. So that's about two to three inches <laughs> size difference um, side to side, which doesn't seem like a whole lot of difference. But um, when you stand them up next to each other and look at the heights, um, this one is a good six to eight inches taller than the smaller version. Um, and that can make a big difference um, if you're wanting to play like on a tabletop or if you're wanting to travel around and need to put it in your car, those six to eight inches can be a really big deal. 
Um, so I think it's important weighing, do I want the base notes? Do I want that smaller footprint? <laughs> it all depends on what you need in your instrument. Okay, and lastly, I'm just gonna do a little sound comparison. Um, I'm probably just gonna play some scales so you can hear kind of the difference between the two sizes. Um, I will say this one, um, being a little bigger, does sound a little fuller, a little richer. Um, and this one, being smaller, does sound um, just a little bit less so. Um, but that's the nature of the instrument. When you have a smaller sound chamber, it just isn't gonna sound quite as full. And that is all I have for you today. Um, if you would like to learn more about playing the dulcimer, um, there's a book that I really love. Um, it's something about Dirt Simple Hammered Dulcimer. <laughs> I'll put a link to it down in the description um, and write out the title so you know what it is. Um, but it's how I've been learning and I think it's a fantastic method book. Um, and if you want to grab hold of the Phoebe Dulcimer by Songbird Dulcimers, I'll put a link to their website as well. Um, the makers are super easy to work with. I think it's just a husband and wife team um, that do it in their barn or workshop or whatever. <laughs> uh, so they're super nice and awesome to work with. Um, and I will also put the website for the Breezy Ridge Dulcimers. Um, I got this used, so I haven't spoken with the owner, but um, I think it is a one-man operation, as most hammered dulcimers are. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have any questions, please do just ask them down in the comments and I will be happy to get back to you. I love talking with you guys. Thank you so much and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click on that subscription button right up there. Otherwise, if you would like to join my Patreon or buy me a coffee, the links to those are down in the description. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.